Hey guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. After updating my iPhone to iOS 26, it started lagging badly. Sometimes when I opened the settings app, it froze for a few seconds and even switching between apps felt really slow. Has anyone else had the same issue? You're not alone. Lots of users have reported similar problems after updating. So today, I'll walk you through a few fixes to make your iPhone smoother. Let's dive in. Tip 1. Force restart your iPhone. For older iPhones below the iPhone 15, updating to iOS 26 can put a lot of pressure on the background because of constant wallpaper rendering. To fix any lag, just restart your device. Swipe down to open control center and hold the power button at the top. Then slide to power off your device. Once the screen goes black, turn it back on. This can often lead to a much smoother experience. Tip 2. Disable background processes. The second method is to stop apps from running in the background. Open the settings app, tap general, then tap background app refresh. Turn it off for the apps you don't use often. This frees up resources and reduces lag. Tip 3. Free up storage space. The third method is to clean up storage. Open the settings app, tap general, and then tap iPhone storage. Here you can see which apps are taking up the most space. Delete the apps you no longer use, clear old photos and videos, and make sure you leave at least several gigabytes of free space. This makes the system run much smoother. Tip 4. Reduce motion and transparency. The fourth method is to turn off extra visual effects. Open the settings app, scroll down and tap accessibility. Then tap display and text size and turn on reduce transparency. Go back to the menu, then tap motion and turn on reduce motion. These changes cut down on animations and make the iPhone feel faster. These steps should help reduce lag. But since iOS 26 is still new, some bugs and poor optimization are to be expected. If your phone still feels slow or keeps freezing, the best option may be to downgrade back to iOS 18.5. And I highly recommend using Rei Boot to downgrade to iOS 18. Rei Boot is a professional iOS repair tool trusted by millions of users worldwide. It can fix over 150 iOS system issues. It also provides one-click backup and restore, so your data is safe. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Now launch Rei Boot. Before downgrading, create a full backup. Rei Boot saves everything. Photos, contacts, apps, securely on your computer. When that's done, go back to the home page and select iOS upgrade or downgrade then select Downgrade. Rei Boot will detect that iOS 18.5 is available. Select it, then download the official firmware. Click Downgrade now, and the process will begin. A few minutes later, your iPhone will be back on iOS 18. Once you downgrade to iOS 18, proceed to the Data Recovery page and choose Restore from Computer and load the backup you just created. That's it. Your iPhone is now downgraded to iOS 18 with no data loss at all. Now let's check the iPhone. No data loss. Notice your phone feels smoother now. That's how it feels to me, anyway. If this helped you, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more iOS tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.